Hey guys, Blake here with another video. And today we're gonna to talk about the dirted tank method, more appropriately known as the Wallstad method. We're gonna to put together a tank today. I'm gonna to let you know some tips around how to do it successfully and um, overcome some issues that I have had with the few that I've set up in the past. So let's jump straight into the video. So the first thing that we need uh, when setting up a well said tank is, surprising or not, we need a tank. So um, just to show you, you don't need anything too special. Just got this Kmart tank here. These are like our, they're basically like the cheapest um, aquariums you can get off the shelf if you don't want to go second hand. So the plan today with this aquarium here is we want to do it super simple. So what we can do is take this cheap um, plastic plant, throw it away. We're going to do um, a low tech setup today so we can take this filter, throw it away. Also, you can take this rainbow uh, clown vomit gravel here and throw it away as well. So what we've got is just a tank here. I'll tell you what, we're, ev we're even going to get fancy today. So we've got the tank here and this is what it basically comes with. What you can do is leave the um, plant background on if you want or alternatively flip it over and run with the black background, which I think is a lot more desirable. Okay, so just like that, we've got a black background on there. Now, it does come with a little uh, acrylic lid here with some cutouts, feeding hole there, and some cutouts for the cables, which is handy. So we are gonna use that, not right now, but for later. And then the other thing that we get with it is a little net. So before we get into setting it up, let's run through what an actual dirted tank or Wallstad method tank is. So the typical uh, dirted tank method is one where we use uh, garden soil, um, dirt from the yard or potting mix, something like that, in as a um, base layer of a substrate to which our plants can access. Now, if we were to just put it straight in the aquarium, it would make a big old mess. You'd have some chocolate soup um, and it would just be a real disaster. So what we do on top of that is you put a capping layer of either gravel or sand. Now the biggest problem I had first of all is I used a very fine grain of sand which is a big no-no with these things because it chokes out the roots before they're able to access the nutrients uh, in the soil underneath. So what I found to be pretty effective is the smallest gravel you can get or alternatively pool filter sand works pretty well as well but I just found um, things like play sand to just be a real hassle so I'd skip that if I was setting one of these up. Because um, we don't want to see the potting mix at all, we just want to sort of see the sand. What I like to do first is grab my sand and just grab something to scoop it with. Um, you could probably also use that net that we were provided, but what I like to do is just um, go around the edges and create a bit of a border. Okay, now that we've got the border done, we're ready to put the potting soil in, but an important uh, factor in this is that we want to first sift out um, any wooden parts because what you'll find is uh, first of all we're going to use organic potting soil because it doesn't contain any sort of harsh chemicals, uh, anti-wetting agents, pesticides and things like that um, but what happens is in that you will have organic uh, materials such as pieces of bark and um, roots and bits of wood and things like that. So what you need to do is just run it through a bit of a sieve first. You can use a uh, aquarium net if you've got a spare old one, you don't mind um, getting a bit dirty. The other thing to keep in mind is you don't actually need that much. Um, don't use you know, a full inch or 2.5 centimeter layer, anything like that. It'll go a long way. And typically if you use more, uh, you'll just run into issues with too many organics and you'll have an algae issue and something like, and stuff like that. So we'll take a less is more approach and we'll go and sift out some of the larger particles now. Okay, so for the potting mix today, we've just got this organic uh, potting soil. We'll just say you know, premium potting mix. And basically I've just got an old um, saucepan here and a small sieve colander type setup there. So we'll just pour some in there and the amount that this is gonna hold will be absolutely plenty uh, for this um, aquascape. So just go ahead now and pour some in. Okay, so I've just got it filled up now and we'll just sort of mix it around to let the particles 
sift through. Okay, so now we've got the soil in there. I did try and take out as much of the wooden uh, organics and stuff as I could, but there are some still in there. It's not gonna be a huge drama, but uh, what I really wanna stress in there is I haven't used much uh, potting soil at all. Like maybe this jar full or a bit less, like it, maybe a cup would be a good indicator on something like this, which is a five gallon or 20 litre tank. So now what we're gonna do is put a good cap of sand on top of that. Because this is gonna be a no filter setup, I do wanna have a deep sand bed on here as well because that will harbor more um, nitrifying bacteria. So, so for that reason, I'm gonna really go excessive on the sand in this scale. I'm gonna be careful when I do pour it in to pour from the outside in, just so that we don't push any of it out so that we're gonna be able to basically see it. Okay, so now, got a fair bit of sand in there. I'm just gonna slope it towards the back just to help emphasize the feeling of depth in this aquarium. Now at this point we are ready for hardscape and plants, but I do really wanna take this aquarium very slow because um, as I said, we are doing a no filter setup. So it's not like we can go ahead and throw a bunch of fish in here anyway. Uh, because there is a lot of organics in the soil, I do want uh, the aquarium to be basically full of plants ready to go when we are full of water because they will be able to keep up with that amount of nutrients. For example, if we did just put in one Anubius in this aquarium and filled it up, fair chance we'd have a fair bit of algae, um, especially early days whilst the organics leach out through the sand bed into the water column. Um, yeah, there won't be a lot to absorb that if we only put in one plant or a few plants. So. For that reason, uh, we're gonna do a dry start method, let things settle in, and then, um, yeah, we'll take a bit of a look at it down the track. So there you go, guys. That's how you set up a Wallstad method slash dirted tank. Um, fairly simple and a lot cheaper than buying aqua soil and doing it that way, but there is just a few pitfalls to be aware of. So just in summary, go easy on the soil or uh, potty mix that you're gonna use. It is extremely nutrient rich and uh, you'll help yourself a lot in the long run. You'll be battling a lot less algae and stuff like that. If you just put a little bit in, don't go too overboard. Put the effort in and sift out all of those uh, organics such as bits of bark, roots and that sort of thing. Use a coarser grain sand instead of a finer grain because it will allow the roots to actually get down into that nutrient layer and won't choke them out on the way down. Other than that, it's fairly simple and uh, easy to do. Unfortunately, we've run out of time for me to actually plant this tank out today, but I certainly will be doing that in the future. So if you wanna see that, be sure to subscribe. And if you liked the video, please hit like as well. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Have a great day.